Hello world, welcome to Getting Cozy with Van Ryder Games. Today we are sitting in front of the fireplace, which is on. You just can't tell from this camera angle, but trust me, it is. My back is getting very toasty. And adding to the coziness, we are wrapped in a bunch of blankets. And today we will be playing a nice, relaxing, cozy game of Hostage Negotiator. In this relaxing, cozy game, you play the role of a hostage negotiator, interacting with an abductor who has taken hostages as you attempt to negotiate their release before they are all brutally murdered. Today, we, our abductor that we are facing is Lieutenant Jackson. So, a bit about them. Lieutenant Jackson is in trouble. He is being framed for the murder of the chief of police. Believing he had no other options, he's taken some administrative workers hostage at the station in an attempt to gather evidence and buy himself some time. Tempers are short, and so is time. Unlike most of the others in the force, you actually believe Jackson when he says he didn't do it. Now you need to keep him alive and find proof. Now, one unique thing about Lieutenant, playing against Lieutenant Jackson is the Stockholm Syndrome Tracker. So what this does is occasionally, and there's one at the start, hostages, hostages will empathize with Lieutenant Jackson. And they will go stand on this card, because that is what people do when they believe their abductor. They go stand on a card. Um, the only way to get these people back is by uh, doing some stuff with major demands. And yeah, if you ever get five, if the card ever fills up with five people, then you lose the game, but in a cozy way. You also lose the game if someone is cozily murdered. So the stakes are high. Now, just to keep this extra cozy, one thing that we're going to have is every time the threat level decreases, I will put on an additional blanket. And every time it increases, I will unfortunately have to remove a blanket. So let's get started. So we start out with our zero cost cards. And I think the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to try to see what one of these major demands is. So we have our two dice and we will cozily roll them into this cardboard box so they don't make a lot of noise. We got one success, so let's reveal a demand. We have the major demand, find evidence against the real murder. When revealed, remove any other, when revealed, remove any other revealed major demand from the game. Spend three conversation points during any conversation to communicate the evidence you found. Move one Stockholm Syndrome hostage back to the hostage pool. Okay. So we have that. Um, we'll keep the other one that way for now. It's okay. We'll do that next turn. I, I like alternating with the demand card, so we always have one we can use. Um, let's see. I think it's also important that we keep cool. Because keeping cool will allow us to keep warm thanks to these, this fire and these blankets. We got two successes, so we get plus one conversation point, and the threat level decreases. It means we can add another blanket. It's getting a little bit hard to do stuff with five blankets wrapped around me, but I am very toasty. So let's see, what else? Let's do a little bit of small talk. Because I am a small talker today. We are not going to be raising our voice. We are going to keep calm. And we have a failure. So we do get one conversation point, but our t conversation phase also ends. We have two conversation points, so I think I am going to take both of the lieutenant, you don't want to do this cards because these can stop us from having people be killed. And that is very important to not instantly losing the game. So I'll take those two. Reset the conversation points. Move our spent conversation points over here. 
And let's see what the first terror card is. The situation is worsening. Plus one threat, and if there are any unrevealed demands, plus one additional threat. So, threat goes up by two. And unfortunately, I need to remove two blankets. Hello, Lily. How are you doing? Oh, I'm getting cold. A whole bunch of other blankets fell. Hi. How are you? You are cute. Okay. So let's move on. Oh, everything is getting destroyed. But it's okay. It is cozy destruction because this is a cat. Hi. Excuse me. I'm sorry, Lily, but I have hostages to save. You understand, right? Okay. Oh, this is... Uh, we're keeping this in the video. This is getting very interesting. Okay. Um, excuse me. Hi. Lily just wants some love and attention. Anyway, let's put all the hostages back over here. Oh, you're just going to chill right there. I think you're sitting on a card. Okay, anyway. Let's take a look at what this other demand is. Excuse me, Lily. We got a failure and a convert. Oops, this was on that. Um, I don't really want to raise the threat with this. So I'm going to convert these two cards into a success. Move this a little bit. Oh yeah, she was sitting on the, that one. Let's tidy this back up a little bit, make things a little bit more cozy. My back is very warm at this point. Well, the alive hostages get to stand, which I'm, I'm sure they like it. It's good exercise. They're stretching their legs. We're not we're not forcing them to stand, but they're, they're choosing it. You know, it's it's the cozy option. So we have our success. So let's take a look at this. Major demand: find the corruption. When revealed, remove any other revealed major demands from the game. I guess we don't care about finding real evidence anymore. To concede, discard one conversation card with a cost of four or more during any conversation to investigate who on the force may be corrupt. Move all hostages move all Stockholm Syndrome hostages back to the hostage pool. Okay. Um Yeah, so there's that. What else? I think we're gonna try to keep cool a bit. We got one success, so threat level goes down. I can take a blanket back. Let's take the Star Wars one. I got this at a, at a movie marathon. Cool. We're, a little co We're even more warm now. And I'm going to hold on to this because no one's dying yet. So a spend phase. Let's take back our zero cost cards. We, we have no conversation points, so we can't do anything else. So let's put these back and see what the next terror phase is. Resolve this card, or deja vu all over again. Resolve this card as a copy of the last terror card you resolved. So the situation is worsening again. Plus one threat. We don't have any unrevealed ones, so we don't lose an additional threat. But unfortunately, I do have to remove this cozy blanket that I just put on. The other blankets are full. Okay. So next phase. Um, what do we want to do? Let's try keeping cool, because that'll allow us to keep warm. We got a success and a conversion. I'll just take the success. So that goes down. I get to take this blanket back. And by cool, I mean warm. 
Okay. So let's do some small talk. See if we can get some conversation points. Two successes, so we get three points. One, two, three. Nice. Um. And then play. What are your demands? Actually. Yeah, I'm going to play this face down just to get a free conversation point. I'm going to hold on to this one. So we are going to the spend phase, take our free cards. I'm going to take a minor extraction because we need to we need to start rescuing some of these hostages. I'm sure they're cozy in there, but they would be even cozier out here. So we can give them blankets that way. And then I'll take, actually, I will take a, what I meant was, which will allow us to re-roll re one die, which can be potentially useful. Okay, let's put these back and flip over the next terror card. I'm getting angry, plus two threat. It's not good, so I have to remove one. And two blankets. So, oh, these are falling. It's hard dealing with so many blankets. So much coziness. Where'd the other one go? Lost a part of a blanket. No, we'll just take it this way. And go that way. Okay. So, that's getting a bit high for my taste. So, let's do, let's try keeping cool a bit. One success, so minus one threat. Let's get back. back. So many blankets, so much cozy. So cozy. Um, now what I'd like to do is try a minor extraction. We're going to try to rescue some of these um, hostages. So, roll the dice. We got no successes. They're actually, I, I didn't mean that. What I meant was this. That is still no success. So that would be killing a hostage and ending the game. So instead, Lieutenant, you don't want to do this so we can prevent a hostage from being killed. We're gonna move that hostage to the Stockholm Syndrome tracker instead. Unfortunately, our turn does still end places us in a bit of a bad situation as we can't prevent anything else right now. Take our free cards back. Put these back. That was not a good turn. And check out the terror card. That's right there. Stockholm Syndrome. Roll a die. If the die is greater than or equal to the threat level, move one hostage from the hostage pool to the Stockholm Syndrome, tra Syndrome Tracker card. That is a 1. 1 is not greater than or equal to 4. So, no one moves, but we do draw and resolve an additional red terror card. Stockholm Syndrome. Roll a die. 6 is greater than or equal to 4, so we move one more person over. Draw and resolve an additional red terror card. More Stockholm Syndrome. I don't... This is... These aren't supposed to all be in a row, but that's just the way the deck got shuffled, I guess. Four is greater than or equal to four, so we'll move another person. I really need to start clearing that out. Draw and resolve an additional red terror card. Hostage escape attempt. Make a threat roll. Uh-oh. And we got no failures, which means a hostage dies, because I can't prevent that. And unfortunately, that does mean the game has ended in failure, like most of my games of Hostage Negotiator go. But you know what? We still had a nice cozy time. We, we got some blankets. We're still very blanketed. And there's fire in back of me, which adds some additional warmth. I hope that you have enjoyed this nice cozy game. And stay warm out there.
Play well.